you're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads, I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. And I'm here with Kelly Harlan of the Arts Festival asking, what is a fringe festival? <laughs> well, thanks for having me today. Um, really, to talk about fringe festival, fringe can be a little bit of anything. And as part of the Virginia Arts Festival's 20th season, we decided to add a little something on the top. So we are presenting our first ever VAF Fringe Fest. The Fringe is really something that takes eclectic artists and mixes it with non-traditional venues. Um, usually you have low price points, usually you have different genres. The biggest Fringe festivals you'll hear about are Edinburgh Fringe and New York City Fringe. And you'll see a plethora of things from local artists all the way to professionals in small venues, all the way to large halls. So our Fringe Fest this year, we're taking the Neon District and the uh, Norfolk Arts District, and we are really turning it into the first ever VAF Fringe Festival. That is so crazy. So it's sort of, you didn't really add something on the top as much as on the fringes. <laughs> on the fringes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> on the outskirts. Right, but I mean, it's sort of like people's intro into, into this. I mean, it's, yeah, you're so going to have The reason ways. we wanted it um, really is to reach some different audiences this year. And it is our 20th season, like I said. But this, this really does allow for a plethora of people to come out and experience the different genres. Um, it'll be the last week of April, April 28 to May 1. Like I said, it is in the Norfolk Arts District, the Neon District, and will take place in seven different venues. Now, that means you might see a string quartet in the Glass Wheel Studio, or you might see Slavic Soul Party, which is kind of this gypsy jazz band in work release. Um, we also have uh, NPR selected shorts, which will be recorded and podcast for future uh, podcasts from Push Comedy Theater. Oh. And then we've got a great play by National Theater of Scotland that's going to be in the Harrison Opera House, and we're transforming it into a black box theater. So it's really something for everybody, and it's really taking these non-traditional venues and making them areas where we can present art. I really feel like the thing that exemplifies it best is the, the tent you're going to have in the plot. Tell yes. me about that. So um, other than using the venues that already exist in the Arts District, we are also creating our own venue. So we are going to have an 80-foot tent over the plot. The plot is kind of a park uh, commonplace area in the middle of the Arts District. And we're going to kick off under that tent with hot sardines which is a great Creole French jazz infusion band. So we'll kick off in the tent with that performance. And then throughout the weekend, people can come and that plot will be our VAF Fringe Central Bar. So you can come and have a drink before a show. We'll have food trucks out there. Or if you're not going to a show, you can just gather there with friends and kind of see all the buzz. In addition to that, we want to make sure we have something for every age. So we are going to have some children performances also throughout the weekend in the plot tent. Um, Help Save the Monkey, a great puppet show from New York. And kids of all ages are welcome. And it's, again, low price point, so $5 a person. You can't complain oh, with that. An awesome maze with interactive performances for free. Yes, we, we are using the Harrison Opera House parking lot. And a group called Dot Maze Get Lost is coming in and building a giant structure. And this is more of an interaction, um, kind of interaction performance art. So people will be able to walk through the maze for free and interact with these characters along the way. And we haven't even, the thing is, is that our time is almost up and we haven't even <laughs> begun to We scratch haven't even the scratched surface. the surface. Go to vafest.org and see everything Fringe Fest has to offer, as well as the arts festival's larger offerings. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.